morning guys welcome back to my channel here on morning coffee we talk all about organization productivity goal getting and personal growth I am going to be taking you around with me today and sharing 20 tips that are simple and quick and easy and will make your life easier with all of the things that we are trying to do in our lives all of the roles we have to fill and all of the responsibilities that we have actually getting things done is hard make your life easier not harder it's already hard enough and to start my day we've got coffee I mean I'm not gonna say this this is one of the tips like this can just be like bonus content like coffee definitely does make your life easier mm-hmm don't you agree and actually I ordered a grande and they accidentally made a venti and he was like I'm only gonna charge you for the grande do you want the venti and I was like yeah I do I got a lot to do today get me the coffee let's get to your tips I think one of the easiest things that you can do to make your life easier is to automate everything that you possibly can so one of my favorite things to do is automate my prescriptions so they come directly to my house I don't have to remember to restock them and they come right to me I don't have to wait in line forever at all so I actually talked about this in my um, automate your life video there's a lot of great tips in there on how you can automate certain things in your life to make them easier for you again your life is hard enough as it is make it easier not harder one thing that I like to do is make breakfast foods right away in a big batch for the whole week so this is actually just chicken sausage that I went ahead and browned in the oven yes I know I don't have to do it in the oven but I do think it works better so I browned a whole bunch of them all at once and so then for um my breakfast all week I can just heat them up and they are ready to go save yourself time in the morning there's something that you think you're going to forget help yourself out write it down so I wanted to remind myself this morning to put the sausages in the oven and so I just left myself a note if you think you're gonna forget it you probably will but writing down always helps you remember are you sick of coming up with recipe ideas every single day until you die I bet you are here's a couple of things I can suggest to make your meal planning easier sign up for a way for someone else to think of your recipe ideas and not you. My two favorites are Emily Bites. I'm gonna link her below. I follow her on Instagram. She shares recipes all of the time. And so then I just get ideas from that and it's not something that I'm thinking up on my own. My second one is Yumly. Yumly is a recipe website. So if you create an account and kind of put in some of your favorites, it will actually send you emails twice a week with their most popular recipes based on their preferences. Comes right to your email and you don't even have to think of it. And they have tons of recipes on their site. Just in general, it is free. It does not cost you anything. And if you're not interested, you can just delete it. But I do find that it's super easy to have someone else think of your recipe ideas for you. So you don't have to. If you're looking for a way to make working out easier and like who isn't, um, I am going to suggest one of my favorite free, simple, and easy ways to work out. You're welcome. Pop Sugar Fitness as a channel on YouTube has tons and tons and hundreds of thousands of workouts that are usually 20 to 30 minutes. You can do them at home in the privacy of your own living room. They cost you absolutely nothing and you can do them whenever you want. Obviously, these are all dance ones because those are the ones that I like, but they also have toning, high intensity interval, all of the things. Make working out easier because we all know that's super hard to do. If you're finding it hard to get together with your favorite people often, might I suggest standing dates? So every Thursday, you take your mom to coffee. Every month, you and your best friends get together. Every Friday night, you and your husband go on a date. Every other month, you take your kids to their favorite museum. Whatever it is, pick a day, pick a time that works for everybody, put it on your calendar, and then it just always reoccurs. You never have to set plans to see each other again. Next, they're already set. 
want to make sure you don't forget somebody special's birthday. I actually started this new thing where every quarter I go to the store at the beginning of that quarter and I buy all of the cards that I need for that next three months. Everyone's birthdays, babies, anniversaries, congratulations, you know, retirements or whatever that you have coming up. Buy all your cards at once so they are sitting in your house ready to go and you can make sure you don't forget to celebrate anybody. Having an inbox in your house, one place where you put all sorts of paper that you could possibly ever want or ever need, put it in one place so that when you're looking for it, it's simple, quick, and easy to find. Much as we wish we were all super famous and rich and could afford a cleaning lady, chances are you may not be in that situation right now. So to make cleaning your house easier, here's what I suggest. Make a cleaning schedule. Write down all of the tasks that you want to do on a regular basis for cleaning your home. So clean bathrooms, for example. Write down how often you would like to do those things. So once a week, twice a week, once a month, um, every quarter, depending on the task. Assign them a frequency and then put them into your Google Calendar or your paper planner, whatever works. But assign these tasks to a day on your during your week where you can get them done. Having a defined frequency for a cleaning task helps automate it for you so that you don't forget to do it. I wrote a blog post all about this, so I'm actually gonna link it below with a free printable. If you have returns to take to a store or you've decluttered some items in your house, my tip is to put them right into your car right away. Make sure that you always have that return on you. Make sure that you know those items that you've decided to get rid of, you don't all of a sudden decide you desperately need and you wanna save. Take returns and declutter items. Anything that has to get taken somewhere, put it in your car right away so it's always there when you need it and you can drop it off as soon as you have the best opportunity. I have two words for you. Grocery, pick up. Just pick up your groceries, people. Almost every grocery store offers it now. Um, you place your order online, you pull into a special parking spot when you come to the store. All of your groceries just come right out of the store and get put into your car. Save yourself the time and the effort and probably the extra money you're going to spend on other random things and pick up your groceries. This is like, it's life changing. I, can't, I, I literally can't talk about it enough. Grocery pickup. Grocery pickup. In order to make the grocery shopping online process easier, I keep my grocery list on my phone. So anytime I'm in the kitchen or I'm, you know, sitting in the living room with my husband and he's like, oh, that sounds really good. Can we make sure we get that this week or whatever, wherever I am, my phone is always near me. So that is where I put all of the things that I need for groceries. I just keep it in my notes app. And then I just, you know, um, when I go to order my groceries, I'll refer back to that list and make sure everything that I need gets on it. But keep your grocery list in your phone. In sort of the same spirit, I do keep a list of things that I want to buy. Every now and again, you'll be like putting on your tennis shoes and you'll be like, oh, these are kind of getting beat up. I should get another pair or dang it, my favorite tank top has a hole in it or I really should replace the shower curtain, things like that. So I keep a list and I actually keep it in Google Docs so that I can access it from my phone or from my computer. And I just keep a list of things that I'd like to buy. Um, I'll do this even if I'm in a store and I see something and I think, oh, that's really cute, but I feel a little guilty about buying it because I didn't plan on buying it. I will put it on that things to buy list and then um, I can kind of plan to buy it again later if I keep thinking about it or whatever. Um, I call this my wish list system and I actually wrote a blog post about it so I will link that below but keeping a list of things that you'd like to buy will help you, you know, make sure you're buying things that you, make sure that you're not forgetting things that you want to buy and planning for them and not feeling guilty if they're impulses. I also keep my address book in Google Docs which means I can access my address book from anywhere, from the post office, from you know the store, whatever I need. If I need an address for someone and someone texts me and asks me for it or whatever, keeping my address book in a digital Google Doc makes sure that my addresses are never far from me. I always make sure that I am never far from a phone charger. 
I have one here in my car. I carry my other one on me all the time, so it's in my work bag. So if I'm at work and my phone is uh, not charging or whatever, um, needs a charge, I will just use it then. It can be so annoying. It's always the time when like you need your GPS or you're waiting for an important phone call or whatever that your phone dies. So make your life easier, buy a couple extra chargers, put them everywhere, carry them with you so you always, always, always have a charge for your phone. If you are trying to find the right time to slip in little tasks that aren't necessarily super important, but they do need to get done, consider assigning tasks to certain days. This is kind of like the Mean Girls on Wednesdays we wear pink theory. So maybe every Tuesday that's when you run to the grocery store. Maybe your laundry day is Saturday. Maybe you run all your errands on Fridays. Whatever it is, set yourself up with a simple rule on each day I do this thing. And if that helps you, that's a great way to be more efficient but not waste a lot of time planning out these tasks. You just automatically do them. You will often find me cooking late at night or early in the morning. I get home way later than the rest of my household, so I will use uncommon times to cook dinners so that they are ready to go when my husband gets home. I hope you enjoyed these tips and they gave you some ideas on how you can make your life easier. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the videos that I share on turning your to-do list into your dream life. I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.